my name's Anupam Patek, and uh, I'm the CEO of Lift Labs, and we're one of the Rock Health portfolio companies for the summer. <laughs> okay, um, so we've been talking about, the previous speakers were talking about people with chronic diseases and <clears throat> how important it is that uh, they be empowered. And this is something that uh, I really came attention to while I was in grad school. And so I was doing my doctorate in mechanical engineering, kind of in the technology area, and we were doing a lot of work for the military, and especially on motion cancellation. And I started to read a lot about people with Parkinson's and this disease called essential tremor, which affects about 10% of our aging population. And <clears throat> right now, there's no, there's no cure out there. And so there's a lot of people that are basically experimenters are looking for uh, different types of drugs, different types of treatments, and having mixed success. Um, I'm sure a lot of you might know a family member or relative who has tremor, either mild or severe. Um, a lot of people will end up having loss of independence. They won't go out in public. Um, there's a lot of anxiety. We've been working with a lot of uh, people in support groups. And just seeing that sort of frustration firsthand of like not being able to actually feed yourself is pretty, um, pretty hard to see. So uh, what we started working on was, uh, and we actually just got funded from the NIH, was to work on a new technology that could actively stabilize the person's tremor. And we first decided, just talking to the support groups, um, decided to address the problem of feeding oneself because that's such a really basic thing that um, we all take for granted every day. And here's a video of um, somebody using our product. Okay, we're gonna get. Yeah, and let's see use the lift door one more time. Oh, it just turns on all by itself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's pretty cool. And in that, we'll try to get the internet somehow. Okay. So that just makes all the difference in the world. I'm telling you. Yeah. It really does. My Okay. Yeah, I, I think it makes a difference because you look like a trouble. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna see if I can do this without pulling my head forward because I like to be able to eat like a normal person mm -hmm. for a change. Um, I. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Um, a lot of what we were driven towards is uh, kind of here, this, um, I don't know if many people hear this, but empathy driven design. So there's a lot of products out that are out on the market that really focus on just addressing the problem. So actually like, you know, the person's handshaking, so we need to stop it. And so stuff like in the left, that's kind of a, that, that was actually built, it's a research um, uh, device, but nobody's gonna go out in public with that. And it's just a huge problem. These people feel um, embarrassment. And so we really wanted to have somebody feel nice um, using the product and feel like there's something that is working for them. And uh, so that's where we, we had come up with, with this design. And um, the way it works is uh, similar to our cameras. We have a lot of people have cameras with active stabilization in there. So there's motion sensors inside. And those motion sensors will detect the person's tremor. And there's a closed loop control system in there. So we have a little microprocessor that's listening to these signals and it's uh, differentiating between the person's intentional motion and their unintended tremor. And uh, that way, it's just moving the spoon opposite what the tremor does. Um, so we've been able to, we did clinical studies and we showed about a 70% reduction. So as you can see in the video, it doesn't, it's not completely still, but it's enough to allow somebody to be able to feed themselves. And uh, the other thing we, we'd come up with was, again, like with the whole experimenting, Thing. There's a lot of people that have been asking us, uh, you know, how do we tell how bad our tremor is and we're trying all these different drugs and we don't know what's working. So we've launched this app as well, and this one's just for free. 
um, but we already have you know comments like this um, where people can measure the tremor over time, they can plot it, they can log what kind of medications they're taking. We hope to gather as much information as we can and be able to have more information on what drugs are working. There's a lot of correlation analysis we can do as well. Um, so yeah, and just in summary, I think uh, I was I started the company because I was really moved by uh, just seeing the people kind of suffering with these chronic dise diseases and um, not much of a solution out there. And providing the tools to empower oneself is something that I've seen firsthand um, to be really, really important to people. Um, so now we're, we're working to get our products out to all the people that need it, um, those that can afford it and those that can't. So we're, we're going to start selling our product, but we're also working with foundations to help reimburse to people who, who can't. So that's basically where we are now. Um, thanks.